Lesson 43. So, Catherine, this is not their first real Greek word. They already know georgos, which means farmer. Mm-hmm. But maybe this is their second or third actual Greek word. Yes. That they can work with. Pretty exciting. It is. So, this new word has four syllables. Let's pronounce it. Didaskalos. And here, the accent is in a completely different place than in Georgos. So it's good that we have the accent marking to tell us where to put the stress syllable for this word. Yes, exactly. So for all you beginners out there, whenever you're looking at a new Greek word, just as Catherine said a moment ago, take careful note of where the marked accent is, and then you'll pronounce that syllable with more stress. Again, you know, back in the days of classical Greek, they might have pronounced it with a pitch accent. They might have said didaskalos or something like that. But today we just pronounce it with a stress accent. Mm -hmm. So it gets a little bit more volume, a little bit more emphasis, didaskalos. Although I still think that the pitch of the voice goes up a little bit naturally when we do that. Agreed. I heard a recording one time of, someone trying to mimic the pitch accent of ancient Greek. Mm-hmm. And it, was, it sounded almost like, almost operatic, like, yeah. didaskalos, you know, or something like that. Yeah, it's really fun. There's a, there's a recording of, I think it's the prologue from Aristophanes' play The Birds. And when it's read with pitch accent, you realize that the whole thing sounds like bird calls. It's Greek words, but it sounds like bird calls. Wow. And uh, for me personally, it always helps me to remember Greek vocabulary if I can think of some kind of related English word. Me too. Now, with Latin, this is a lot easier because I think with Latin, we have a lot more common words. Mm -hmm. But if you really try, you can find, you know, related English words for Greek words as well. It depends on the word. True. You know, sometimes you can, sometimes you can't, but... With our word for this lesson, there are related English words, and sometimes they'll be related to English because we have the same root word coming to us in both Greek and Latin. Because the Romans borrowed so much from Greek as their language was developing. Exactly. And also because they got some common words from the language that gave birth to Greek and Latin, which we call Proto-Indo-European. True. So sometimes the same root comes into both of those languages, and so when we have a related English word, it's related to both languages. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a related English word is related only to the Greek word or the Latin word, but not both. In general, we have less English words that are related to Greek. So it can be tough to find related English words to Greek words, but they're still out there. And if you look around, you can find them. And so, in whatever way they're related, the word didactic is related to the word didaskalos. So, Catherine, this word didaskalos is masculine in gender. So, if we take our masculine definite article, which is ho, and we put it together with this word, we get ho didaskalos. In fact, let's just go through the exercises here. Number one is ho didaskalos, which means the teacher. And then number two is just didaskalos. So since it has no definite article, we can translate it as a teacher. Exactly. We can translate it as if it had an indefinite article in front of it. Right. And a lot of Greek textbooks say that uh, it's not just something we made up. Not every Greek textbook says it explicitly, but some do. Some will just come out and say, if there's no definite article in front of it, you can translate it as if it had an indefinite article in English. Right. And even the ones that don't say it explicitly, a lot of times if you have the answer key for the exercises, you'll see that being done, even if it's not explained. So number two, didaskalos by itself, we'll translate that in the answer key as a teacher. And then again, in number three and four, we see the same thing. Hoge orgos means the farmer But then in number four, without the definite article, georgos, by itself, we'll translate that simply as a farmer. Mm 